Hi, this is Barry List, and we're at the 2012 Informs Analytics meeting in Huntington Beach, California. We're speaking with executives from the best analytics and operations research teams in the world this year. The event is a 40th annual France Edelman competition. Listen to what these leaders say about the role of analytics at their organizations. The value of the operations research breakthrough was tremendous. First of all, it helped us deal with a, a very significant downturn after the global economic crisis in late 2008. And um, more remarkably, perhaps, is the recovery, the snapback, is unlike any that we've ever seen in our history. And we're launching the 32 nanometer technology, which is unique. It had never been manufactured in volume anywhere in the world. And we're able to modulate the capacity with the demand signals very quickly through our base and flex capacity solutions that were developed with the operations research assistance of Stanford. And the net financial impact of this was an avoidance of about $125 million in cancellation costs, but more importantly, the value of over $2.2 .2 billion in additional revenue, which also uplifted the entire electronics system above us in about a 10 to 1 ratio. Maybe $20 billion or more of electronics revenue was obtained in our supply chain through our customers because we were able to respond so quickly. Well, we actually used uh, the help of Ortec and the University of Tilburg to come up with a very new model in terms of analyzing the flows that our air network was going through in order to optimize and to still deliver a very high quality of service because that is absolutely what TNT is about. So within the new formula, we were able to offset a number of the aircraft, close a number of airports without any impact to our customer service provision. And that helped us to remain profitable at the same level after the crisis as before the crisis. Well, the solution didn't just deliver the financial value to the bottom line. We, in the meantime, have saved around 204 million euro over a period of uh, four years. However, it has also enabled us to really share the best practice by setting up communities of practice and an official Go Academy program where our most talented people are going through a two-year educational program where they learn how to become supply chain masters and apply that knowledge tactically, strategically and on a daily basis in the business. We were faced with an extremely challenging and changing environment where from being a direct, indirect and a web-based reseller of businesses, of products, we had to focus more and more on selling through the web as more and more of our customers were coming to the web either to research our products or actually to buy the products. So we had to fine tune our entire marketing through the supply chain to ensure that we are able to cater to this changing buying environment of our customers. We were very proud to see that with the kind of deployment we went in with, over the past couple of years, we've seen a 50% increase in our conversion rates and we've been able to deliver an additional $170 million to the top line for our online retail business. Our organization is charged with preparing the nation to respond to public health emergency events. A big part of that is how do we ensure that people who need medication to get well or not become ill can get that medication in a timely way. It's impossible to exercise this across the nation. So we turn to analytics and operations research to model opportunities to improve our capabilities for the entire country. Collaborating with the Georgia Institute of Technology, we brought subject matter experts from our program and from across the nation in public health together to provide information so that models could be developed to allow a decrease in time to dispense medication, making us able to move more people through lines rapidly. The value of this solution is very powerful. We've seen where the model has been applied that we project decrease in mortality rates by 90%. And I don't think there's anything that can speak more highly of the work than a decrease in loss of life of that magnitude. The value is uh, immense. First of all, we are able to uh, provide a much better service to all our uh, customers by minimizing their fuel bills and also in terms of the environment to uh, minimize the carbon footprint of our vessels. Uh, this translates to you know easily in excess of a million dollars per year per vessel 
and uh, also in a very environmentally sensitive uh, uh, industry. Uh, today I think that uh, this solution uh, definitely uh, is a very important uh, tool in order to, uh, for, the, for shipping to be able to comply with uh, all the Kyoto Protocol requirements. That wraps it up for INFORMS and the top analytics and operations research teams in the world. Learn more about analytics by visiting INFORMS online at www.informs.org. Thank you.